5,500 pounds. You never realize how massive they are until they're outside of the water. So along the islands here, the lighter color birds, the pink backed pelicans. When they get their name during their mating season, they turn a pink color in the backs of their skin. And their wingspan will stretch 7 to 9 feet as well. Towards the left side, the Nile crocodile, on average about 16 feet long, about 500 pounds. Oh, there's a baby. Their jaws can fill the deeps. They migrate 500 to 1,000 miles every single year. Within 15 minutes of birth, they need to be up and walking. You'll see these larger animals here as well on the right with the big horns. Those are the Ancoli cattle. Inside of their horns is actually a honeycomb like structure, so a little bit more hollow inside than you'd think. Not as heavy. Also, has lots and lots of blood vessels in their horns there. It acts as their cooling system to help regulate their temperature. Just the African wild dogs are all laying back there. They're also known as the painted dog if you notice their fur pattern. They can run at high speeds for long periods of time. They do that to tire out their prey while they're hunting. So it may seem like the sweet fur babies that we love so much at home, but they're not related to them at all. When they get vocal, they do this really high pitched squeal or squeak breath. And the new addition to their family, little baby Dash, he was born right here on the reserve just a few weeks ago. And they're trying to slowly introduce him to. his new home here, so I see a lot more trucks really close to them. Now, much debate over the color of the zebra's stripes. You just have to look at the color of their nose. If you didn't notice, the Hartsman Mountain zebras have the darker color, so that means they are black with white stripes. Dash was officially named yesterday. The keepers named him after his very spirited personality. He loves to do the zoomies. Oh, okay. See the Maasai giraffe? They are the type of giraffe that live here on the reserve. We get to also by the messy type pattern that is on their skin there. Now, just like each one of us has a unique fingerprint, each one of them has a unique pattern. They stand 18 to 20 feet tall, full grown. And just like their relative seal copy that we saw in the beginning, they have that prehensile tongue as well. So it lets them reach even further up into the trees. They don't let any of the snacks go to waste around here. When the giraffes are born, they're about six feet tall. They only sleep for 30 minutes every day. They spend most of their time grazing along, eating up all the snacks. Over to the right side, towards that far back field, the smaller animals back there. 
Those are the spring box. Uh, they can jump six feet as tall as a baby giraffe right from where they are standing. And they can leap 13 feet. We'll pull a little closer to them in just a second here. But it's pretty impressive for how small they are in size. They're all up here. away from the rest of the herd or they will be in small bachelors with other male elephants. Now this is so beehive fences all along perimeters of farms over in Kenya. Now they did this because the elephants decided that they were going to stampede and destroy farmer scraps. The farmers didn't care for that. So poachers went after the elephants. Now elephants don't have any natural predators. We are their largest threat. So the Elephants and Bees project was a wonderful conservation effort to help protect them and save their lives. Also gave the farmers a bit of an extra income. They were able to sell the honey from the beehives. see the greater flamingo. Keep your eyes and look out for the young ones. They just had some recent babies added to their family. Now a group of them is known as a flamboyant. Inside the waters there, they will eat brine shrimp. Brine shrimp contains beta carotene. And the beta carotene is what gives them their paint color over time. And I like to call them the sassiest bunch of the reserve. They're very vocal when they don't like something. Over here, the sweet white rhino. Baby reindeer's hanging out on the other side with mom candy. A wild one, that one. Loves to test mom any chance he gets. Loves to run his little horn into everybody's rear end, especially the ladies. Now the white rhinos are the largest of the rhino species. We saw the smallest at the beginning in the forest. They also have a much wider mouth as well if you're able to glance at their mouth. They love coming over here for the mud pit. Their skin is real tough on the outside but super sensitive. So they'll roll themselves all in that mud, get nice and coated to help protect themselves. Perfect example of little ranger bumping mom along there. She's not having it. He's about seven months old now, already over 700 pounds. He's gonna be a big boy. He's literally my favorite other than Dash, the new baby zebra. He's so funny. Sometimes he loves to just take off running down this strip right here. Gives Candy a heart attack. That's just yeah. Okay, they're hiding pretty good, but right behind these trees, they're looking right up at us. I'm at the front where I am. You'll see them right there. Oh, there's three. The cheetahs. They're hiding real good. There's also one kind of way back there. But they are the fastest land animal. They can run up to 16 miles. Tree line the largest bird but they cannot fly but they can run up to 40 miles per hour they're saving grace a little bit on the ground here on the right some of their eggs they're laying there they weigh about three to four pounds each Whoa. equivalent to one to two dozen chicken eggs so they are very large always fun to watch the ostrich especially with the animal programs cast members 
when they're in their truck, so the officers go right up to their windows, peck on it like, hi, I'm here. I want to see what you're doing. And they'll stick their heads right inside the truck. I don't know who's the nosiest, them or the giraffes. Nigerian dwarf goats. I love when they sit on the Jeep there and when they're on the roof. It's pretty funny. But given their small size, they don't need as much space as larger livestock. They're very social, especially with each other. They love their keepers, love their humans. They will snuggle right up. They help out farmers with eating the weeds and the undergrowth. They also produce about two pints of a nutritional high value milk every day. Farmers can take that, use it right in their homes. <laughs> That's amazing. Fish are cleaning it. <laughs> Daddy, there's a school of the hippo. Oh, it's a small for a hippo. That's funny. Daddy. Here's Alexa's eating her swirl. Mm -hmm. See how delicious it, it looks? There's Erin eating her Raya ice cream. Oh, cone's gone. Here's a bit of what the cone is supposed to look like. Ryan's devouring that. And then that ice cream is like a swirl of, well. Pink and blue. Pink and blue. Vanilla, the flavors are vanilla. And strawberry. And strawberry. Oh, strawberry is the pink.
currently locked out of our room. Banana Nutella. Oh. Banana. 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 Banana.